Hey everyone, my name is Vendelin, and in this video, together with Petco, the baddest Wama alive, we're going to find out how you can quantize your fine tuned Wama 3.2 1 billion parameter model, and we're going to evaluate whether or not the model performs the same as far as performance goes, and did we get an actual time or speed improvement based on the setup that we have. Let's get started. If you want to follow along, there is a complete text tutorial that is available for ML Expert Pro subscribers and it is within the bootcamp and then quantize your LOM for WAMA CPP or OWAMA. Here, you can find the complete instructions along with a link to the Google Cloud Notebook that I'm going to show you. And if you want to reproduce the results and run the quantized model into OWAMA or WAMA CPP. So if you want to support my work, please consider subscribing to ML Expert Pro. Thank you. The model that we've trained in the previous video is now available on the Hugging Face Hub. It is within my username Curiosity Wama 3.2 1 billion parameter model. I'm going to link down this model into the description of this video. And within the files of this video, you might notice that there is also the GGUF file that I'm going to show you how you can do or create for yourself. And you can also use this GGUF file right now into your OWAMA or OWAMA CPP setup. But if you want to skip the conversion and just try the model, please know that the model is actually on the Hugging Face Hub as well. Why would you want to quantize your large language model or your fine-tuned large language model? The primary reason for that is that you can usually get massive speedups I'm talking something like two to four or even more times much more performance and use much less GPU RAM. Along with that, if you do the correct trade-off between size of the model and performance, you might not even lose any accuracy with the process. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert the full 16 billion, uh, sorry, 16 bit float parameter model to a um, quantization or 8-bit integers for the weights of the model that is. And we're going to see how this affects both the runtime performance and the accuracy of the model. The essence of the quantization method is to exactly do exactly this, convert the floating point numbers that are usually used for the weights of the model. Those are typically within 16-bit or 32-bit and those are referred as full precision and basically get those floating point numbers and convert them into integers. More often than not, those integers are 8-bit, 4-bit, or even 2-bit. Of course, depending on your use case and how much GPU memory or GPU power in general you have, you might want to, to evaluate and have a look at how different quantizations might work for your own specific use case. So in this notebook, I'm using the freely available GPU on the Google Quad. And here you can see this is the T4. And for the setup of this process, I'm going to start by downloading the model from the Hugging Face Hub that I've shown you. Uh, this is pretty easy since the model is now publicly available. I'm specifying this, I'm calling the snapshot download function from the Hugging Face Hub package. And here I have the model path, which is right here. And then I'm saving this into our local directory. This should take uh, no more than, let's say, five minutes or something like that, depending on your internet connection. But on the Google Quap, you can see that this is a pretty fast process. So you basically are downloading the model for uh, a local use and downloading all of the files. The biggest one is the PyTorch model. I recall that this is actually the fused version of the WAMA 3.2 1 billion parameter model along with the Wora or QWORA adapter that we've used with our PyTorch or PyTune example. Then I'm actually removing the tokenizer from the model since this is actually not needed for our conversion to the quantization in the GGUF format that WAMA CPP provides. Then for the actual conversion, we're going to be needing the WAMA CPP library. Uh, this is created by Georgi Gerganov, so uh, he's an absolute legend in the field. And the support of this library is pretty much amazing. So I'm just cloning the library and checking out a specific 
checkpoint or commit so you can have the same version of the commit as I am doing throughout this video since this library is updated very very regularly and then I'm installing all of the requirements that the Wama CPP library wants. Uh, one important thing here is that it is updating the PyTorch version here uh, and after that I'm essentially ex exiting from the library or the folder of the Wama CPP. Next I'm going to show you the command that I use to convert the hugging face model which is in a bin format. In this case I'm going to call the convert hf to ggf dot py script and for in order to this script to work you need to actually pass in the folder of the local model then what do you want to name the output file and in this case i'm going to be using this uh, suffix for the file q8 underscore zero dot ggf so this is pretty much a standard format for the quantization that i want with 8 bit and 0 uh, additional bits for the quantization type. And you can see that this process is actually converting all of the bfwords 16 into Q804 format, at least most of them. And uh, this process is quite fast actually. It took roughly, I want to say, like maybe under a minute, even on this uh, Google Club notebook. Uh, you can see that the model is preserving essentially the template format which is based on the tokenizer config that we have within the repository which is of course the original tokenizer for WAMA 3.2 so nothing magical here but this is pretty important for the conversion to the GGF format to have the correct token template otherwise your model might not perform as well as you might expect. So after this is complete, and uh, yeah, you can see that the template for the <laughs> for the prompt is actually quite crazy. Uh, you can go on your own time and check how crazy actually it is. But in order to try out the model, then I'm going to be using the Wama CP Python bindings, and this is a separate library. I'm going to download a specific version that works for the CUDA version in this Google Cloud notebook and the Python version that, uh, again, the co-op is using, which is Python 3.10, at least in, in this uh, case right now. So I'm essentially downloading these bindings and then uh, adding the import, which is essentially WAMA CPP. From WAMA CPP, I'm importing WAMA. And here I'm passing in the local file that I have. Uh, this is the GGF file. The next important part is putting the model on the GPU. In order to do that, I'm going to pass in an underscore GPU layers equal to minus one. This will essentially put all of the available weights and layers of the model to the GPU. Since this is only a one billion parameter model that is further quantized, we can fit the model on the Q4, uh, sorry, T4 GPU. And I'm saying that I want a context of 4096, which should be plenty for our example since we've pretty much filter out the longer ones. Next, I'm going to download the test data that I've used into the previous video. And uh, this is a sample prompt that we had. And for this prompt, the actual output uh, recorded the task was to classify uh, mental health based on some uh, predefined text. And these are the available categories. And here the correct version is depression. Uh, so if I go through this example, you see that uh, we are getting a different response, but this was also the case with the original model, so nothing strange thus far. And in order for this to work uh, exactly correct, you need to have this create chart completion method. Otherwise, you are essentially passing in the prompt directly without using the template that we've added with the, the tokenizer. So keep that in mind that if you have this instruct type of model, you will also need to call this create chat completion uh, method. And let's see how we can run the whole temp, uh, data set throughout the model. And one important thing right here is that we have only five 
minutes and roughly 10 seconds. And this is the notebook for the fine tuning example. As you can see here uh, on, I think the L4 GPU, we did that, or maybe it was a T4 again, I'm not really sure. We did 10 minutes and 30 seconds, so it is roughly two times faster. But did we get a better accuracy? And we got 85% accuracy along with a pretty nice classification report. And you can see that we actually got a bit of improvement in the accuracy. This is uh, probably a statistical fluke. But otherwise, we got exactly the same accuracy and pretty much the exactly same classification report, which is huge. We got two times speed up and re uh, uh, reduced the requirement for the GPU memory. And we also got the same performance or uh, accuracy for the model. After the quantization was complete, I also uploaded the GGFL in the Helium Face Hub, as I've already shown you. And one pretty amazing thing that you can do is that you can run this model with OAMA. You essentially need to pass in the repository along with the quantization version that you want. And after you press run, if you don't have the model, this will go ahead and download the model for you. Since I've already downloaded that, this is essentially loaded within the memory of my machine. And this is the sample text that I've passed into the model. And let's try it out. And we get the same response as we did within the notebook. And you can see that this was actually pretty fast to respond. This is a basic M3 Pro laptop that I'm running right now. And I can tell that the model is quite fast on it. So this is it for this video. You've seen how you can quantize your Wama model using the Wama CPP library. And we've seen how you can essentially convert it to a GGF format and you can run the model with the Wama CPP Python bindings or run it directly into your Wama interactive environment. It was pretty cool to see that we didn't actually use or reduced any accuracy, at least on our benchmark. And the model was now two times faster on the T4 GPU. I can also say that the model was actually quite fast on my local machine as well. So if you want to run those types of model in a local environment, I would highly recommend you to try to quantize them. Also, if you try to quantize the model into a Q6 or Q4, you might uh, again see further improvement in the accuracy, uh, sorry, in the speed. Accuracy hopefully will remain pretty much the same. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, join the Discord channel that I'm going to link down into the description of this video. And if you want to support my work and have a look at the complete text tutorial along with the source code, please consider subscribing to MX Pro. I'm going to link the tutorial down into the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye from Petco, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.